So first of all, I want to say thank you, Roger, for the video that you sent. Uh, I've showed it around my community. Um, I showed it to my barber today. And it's moving, and everyone I show really likes it. So now there's one more person that knows about all this. And uh, that's what this is all about in the first place. And thank you. Thank you, everybody, that's been sharing this and tweeting it and spreading the word. I've been completely overwhelmed by the response that people have had. Um, a little bit about me. I'm a stand-up comic from New York City, and I am an open mic comic. So I play hole-in-the-wall clubs, and I'm not used to an audience of this size. So it's been amazing. And it's weird. It makes you wonder, why would a video without anybody famous in it, it's not like Justin Bieber or Obama's in this video, why would, why would it get so many views? Why would it have such a reaction? What's going on here? And we'll get to what's going on here, but first, there's an elephant in the room that we should address. Last Tuesday, Barack Obama w was reelected to be President of the United States with 61 million votes, beating Mitt, Romney's, beating Mitt Romney by like 3 million votes. Now, some bureaucrats in our government, in the U.S. government, set up a bunch of obstacles to keep people from voting. So there were long lines, four hour, seven hour lines in some places just to vote. Imagine, you wait in line all day, you spend seven hours out of your day, you miss work, you have someone to take care of your kids, and you wait in line to vote, and you elect a leader. You pick somebody. And then another government comes in and says, no, not this guy and they arrest him, or maybe they exile him, or maybe they torture him, or maybe they shoot him. Well, what you're imagining is what actually happened to Catalan President Luis Compañe. During World War II, the Nazis arrested him, delivered him to a Spanish dictator, Franco, who had him executed by firing squad. After that, the next two presidents got out of Dodge. Eventually, the democracy came to Spain, and the Catalans got their parliament back, and they elected a guy named Jordi Pujol to be their president. He had also been tortured by the Spanish police in the 60s. In fact, every single Catalan president from World War II to 2003 was someone that had been either tortured, exiled, or killed. 2003 was nine years ago. And that's why a no-name, nobody comic from New York City cares about this. And that's why I get my friends together and we make these videos. And that's why thousands of people all around the world tell their friends and spread the word about these videos. You see, the more I find out about this and the more I read about it, that's kind of what it seems like it's all about. The Catalans don't have any other power. They don't have an army. They just have the power of their vote. And so, what it seems like they want to me is a national referendum on independence. A chance to vote. So yeah, let's keep making noise about this, everybody. Let's keep spreading the word. You guys did a great job last time. I'm going to ask you to keep it up. Especially if your community doesn't know anything about this. I had, a, I had a comment on Vimeo. Uh, Lar Kanun writes, I'm 16 years old. I'm from Catalonia. I'm living in the US for 10 months as an exchange student. Thank you for doing this. I'm going to share this video on Facebook. And tomorrow I'm going to ask my English teacher if I can play it in class and share it to my high school. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Please, everybody, keep it up. Keep spreading the word. Because maybe if we make a big enough noise, and get this big enough, the Catalans will get a chance to vote.